Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to another episode. It is 7.30 here in Peru. So yesterday, uh, I stayed at a hotel in this little town called Crucero. And here, I think the average elevation is about 4,500 meters. And yeah, but I think my body has finally got used to this high elevation uh, since I've been riding on the Altiplano in the past two weeks. So I didn't have any reaction. Um, so that was good. And today, uh, I am trying to get to Cusco, which is another main city here in Peru. But uh, instead of taking the, the main route, I'm gonna go to a detour. I'm gonna take a detour. Um, I think the average elevation is gonna be even higher than yesterday because I think I just checked the elevation um, on some of the, uh, the villages I'm gonna pass by today is gonna be about 5,000 meter. So yeah, pretty ambitious. And uh, it's gonna be a long way because the road conditions is all gonna be dirt roads, I think, or small country roads. So uh, let me just show you where exactly I'm, I'm going today on the map. Last night, uh, I stayed somewhere probably in this area. Uh, you see where those uh, shades are? That's the Andes Mountains. So the average elevation here is around 4,500 meters. And uh, the city or, or the town I stayed at was called Crucero. So today I'm going to follow, I'm going to keep going on the Andes Mountain. And then come back to the main road, which is the red line here, and then go up north to Cusco, which is here. So that's my plan for today. Well, I said this is an ambitious plan because uh, on the GPS it says it's about eight hour and a half to nine hour of riding, and the total distance is only about 350 kilometers. So I think the road conditions are probably not going to be ideal. Um, but that's why I'm starting my day early. It's still 7.30 and yeah. All right, I'm gonna hit the road now. Let's go. Gracias. Woo. It's a beautiful day. Hold on. There's something wrong with my tire. I gotta check if they have this spare part here. My tire cab, this one is is broken, and then uh, the air is coming out. So probably need to need to replace it. <clears throat> and the front one is broken too. All right. Got that sorted out. I really hope it doesn't rain today. Because the rain at higher elevation is just a different level. Sometimes it comes with snow, sometimes it comes with sleet, and sometimes even hail. So, and that's why I stayed here yesterday, I didn't continue because it just, it looks too damn scary. All right, let's go.
I just passed the uh, highest point uh, of this region, which was about 4,900 meters. And now I'm just taking a break. My fingers are so freaking cold. This morning I left without uh, having my the uh, the winter gloves. I have my summer gloves, and I uh, you know I thought since I would I have to use my summer gloves to uh, keep pressing the uh, the camera um, while riding because the winter gloves are just too thick and uh, I, I can't use that to uh, to press the button. So and now my freaking fingers are so numb. I had to stop and switch. Uh, to my winter gloves, but I got a bunch of llamas or llamas behind me. Their fur is so thick, and man, I wonder what if you uh, use that to make like a like a puffer jacket? That would be so nice. This is so freaking cool, oh my god. It's probably one of the most typical representations of the Inca culture here in South America. Like throughout the history, they learned to develop or grow different crops at different elevation. And that's why they have so many like layers of agricultural fields on the mountains. It's just fascinating to see. I saw a biker uh, just pass me.
bunch of kids are having a, some kind of parade. Maybe I can pass them. freaking awesome I was just going through the mountain roads you know uh, both sides got blocked because there were rocks big rocks and then all of a sudden I made a left turn and boom I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of the, the canyon The roads here are pretty good. It's unpaved, but it's so much nicer than the uh, Bolivians. Um, it's very enjoyable to ride. There's not too many rocks, you know. It's still gravel, but yeah, I can I can get my speed up to like 50 or 60 sometimes. So pretty good. But man, look at the views. I need a, I think there's a little village in the middle of the mountains on the map. I gotta find a restaurant because I'm freaking hungry. All right, I'm stopping here uh, for a little lunch break. And I gotta stop. There, there were a lot of checkpoints where police check you, uh, check your document, and then they, they ask you to fill out like a form, your name, where you from, where you going, your uh, DNI, DNA. There, that's their uh, Peruvian ID number, which I don't have. So, um, but uh, yeah, none of them give me any trouble. So that was all right. This little village is in the middle of the mountains. Okay. And after lunch, I'm about to go to the Rainbow Mountain. Um, well, I'm just gonna bypass. Uh, I'm not gonna hike up all the way to the top. And because I'm, I'm dressed in motorcycle gear, I can't really hike, but I'll try to get close and maybe I can see something. So yeah, that's my plan. Just finished lunch. Gotta find my key.
Look at that. Yeah, that's my rainbow mountain for you. <laughs> it's got red, yellow, green, uh, brown, black, plus the sky blue, the cloud white. Yeah, that's the rainbow. <sighs> All right. Here's some deep, deep climb. And I think the uh, elevation is at 4,000. Oh, oh, oh. See, this bike has a little. There we go. Yeah. Woo! Steep climb. And sometimes, even first years, is not enough. <sighs> oh, wow. <laughs> Talking about real river crossing. I gotta go from here to there. Oh. And those Yamas are looking at me. Maybe they're expecting me to fail. <sighs> Alright, let's give it a try. I just gotta go fast mm. and don't stop. Let's go. Ready? Thank you. Oh. The rocks were very slippery. Another river. Oh. I can go here, maybe, and then there is probably very shallow, shallower than this. Wait a minute. Okay. I see somebody's coming. I'm gonna follow him. Hold up. Yeah, see? That's where the locals go. I'll go there too. <laughs> yeah. There's a bridge. <laughs> I didn't know there's a bridge. <laughs> oh.
I didn't have to go the hard way. There's always an easy way. Riding skills of these locals sometimes for freaking pros. <laughs> Gracias. Estados Unidos. Ah, Estados Unidos. Sí, Estados Unidos. Okay. No tiene, no tiene. Ah, no mero. No sí, sí, sí. Uh, vehicle. Okay. Moto. Dine. Sí, sí. Eh, hora. Hora de Ese, no, no tenés por qué. Eh, no per Perú. No Perú. Estados Unidos. Sí. Pasaporte. Ese, eh, sí. Ok, ok. Eh, hora de entrar. Ajá. Sí. Eh. ¿Vas a entrar? Uh, ok. 2.35. Sí. Ok. Bien. Sí. Ya, ahí no. Así, eh, ahí no, no. Ok. ¿De dónde te tengo? Eh, Cusco. Ah, claro. ¿Por Cusco? Sí. Oh, over there. Uh, crucero. Crucero, Cusco. Ah, ya, ya. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, Puno. <ríe> Puriaca. Bien. That way or that way? That way. Okay, okay. Sí. Gracias. Ya.
currently at 4,800 meter elevation. And that's the average today. I think the highest was 5,100 meter. Woo. This road is, is so remote. Like today, I haven't seen a single car on this road at all. All I seen was local mo local motorcycles. And that was it. <laughs> and Yamas, lots of Yamas. I've seen more Yamas than people today. <laughs> I finally made it to Cusco and now I'm at an Airbnb. Uh, the last couple of hours I had to ride in the dark uh, because the sun already went down after I got out of the mountain. So, uh, but I still decided to come to Cusco uh, just because I really needed to get somewhere, you know, that has modern technology and then I can rest uh, tomorrow for an extra day. So yeah, today was, was freaking awesome. Oh my God, that road I chose was so remote. I literally didn't see anybody today besides local farmers and Yamas. And yeah, the, the scenery changed dramatically like every 20 kilometers. And you know, in the end I used all my drone batteries because I, I really wanted to like take everything in, but that just impossible to do it. And yeah, I, I mean, I, I did a lot of filming today. I shot a lot of videos, so I, I've, I'm content right now. Yep. And uh, so tomorrow I'm gonna stay here for one extra day and uh, mainly because I needed to catch up on some work. I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, yeah, and uh, also after today, I think my body needs some rest and so does my bike. So yeah, all right. I hope y'all enjoy this video. Please give me a thumbs up if y'all like it. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.